Very good morning, children. How are you all? I'm wishing you a very happy new year, children, to each and everybody, to all your parents, grandparents, everyone. May this new year bring a lot and lot of happiness to you and good health, first of all. And may God bless you all. Okay, children? Fine. Now, let us enter into your poem. Look at the moon. What do you observe, children, during the day? What do you see during the day in the sky? Yes, obviously, sun. Can we see moon and the stars in the night? No. So then when do we see this? When, when, when can we see this moon and the stars in the sky? During night. Yes, so we see the sun in the morning, moon and the stars during the night. Now this poem is about a girl who is enjoying very happily looking at the moon and she is being accompanied by her mother and she is feeling very happy watching at the moon. Now when we see the moon children, you know the moon changes its shape. Am I right? Initially the moon will be in a bow shape. Right? Like this. And slowly it changes the shape and it completely forms into a huge ball that is a circle. So every 15 days, for every 15 days the shape of the moon changes. The first 15 days what happens? The size of the moon slowly increases and again in the another 15 days in a month the size of the moon decreases and becomes like this, like a bow. And one day you will never see a moon, that is Amavasya. Okay, fine. Let us see your poem. Look at the moon. Alright, now I am reading out the poem. You are going to listen carefully. Then we will see what actually the poem is about. Okay. Oh, look at the moon. She is shining up there. Oh mother, she looks like a lamp in the air. Last week she was smaller and shaped like a bow. But now she has grown bigger and round as an O. Pretty moon, pretty moon, how you shine on the door and make it all bright on my nursery floor. You shine on my playthings and show me their place and I love to look up and your pretty bright face. Shall I read the poem again? Okay. Oh, look at the moon. She is shining up there. Oh, mother, she looks like a lamp in the air. Last week she was smaller and shaped like a bow. But now she has grown bigger and round as an O. Pretty moon, pretty moon, how you shine on the door and make it all bright on my nursery floor. You shine on my playthings and show me their place and I love to look up and your pretty bright face. Okay, now let us look into the meaning of the spoon. The girl is watching the moon during the night and she is saying, oh, look at the moon. She is shining up there. Yes, when you see the moon children, yes, will it shine? Yes, yes, it shines as bright as a feather, like white color feather or a tube light. Right? Moon is generally white in color. So during nights, you see the moon is shining up in the sky. Oh mother, she looks like a lamp in the air. So if you see the moon, shining moon in the sky, simply it's like you see there is a lamp glowing in the sky. So the, this beautiful girl, the small girl is telling to her mom, see at the moon, it is shining in the sky and she looks like a lamp that glows very brightly in the sky. Last week she was smaller 
and shaped like a bow. So when she has seen the cute child, when she has seen in the last week, the moon was smaller like a bow. The moon was like this when she has seen. But now she is grown bigger. As the days are passing, the moon, the small, like the moon which is very small, has started growing bigger and it started showing as round as O. You know your alphabet O or your ball with which you play. So the moon started changing or started growing bigger and formed as a O. Pretty moon, pretty moon, how you shine on the door. So she is describing the moon pretty. It means the moon is looking very beautiful. Pretty it means beautiful. So the moon to see was very beautiful. And it is shining on the door. Even the light of the moon when falls on any object. What happens? That particular object also will shine. And make it all bright on my nursery floor. So the light coming from the moon has made her nursery. Nursery in the sense her garden. What do you mean by nursery? It's not a nursery class. Nursery is nothing but a garden that is filled with small plants and the grass. So when the light is falling from the bright moon, so what happened? The nursery of the small garden was also was, has also become very bright. You shine on my playthings and show me their place. Yes, in the darkness, can you find where you put all your objects, children? No. When you have a light, then only you can see all the objects very clearly. So, when the light of the moon was falling in her garden, in that light, the girl can see all her playthings very bright and I love to look up at your pretty bright face. So since the moon is shining very cutely, the girl love to look up and uh, love to look up to see what? To see the pretty face, the beautiful face of the moon. Like you, you people are also looks like a moon shining all the time with your beautiful smiles. Right? So this is about the poem. Look at the moon. So what is happening in this poem? The girl was sitting with her mom and she is telling, look at the moon. It is shining very brightly in the sky. Oh mother, it looks like a lamp in the air. So the moon shines very brightly and the girl was telling like there is a lamp in the air as she is watching at the moon. And Last week when she has seen the moon, the moon was very smaller. As the days are passing, the moon started growing bigger and it changed to O. Since the moon is shining very brightly and the light of the moon is falling, her garden, nursery is nothing but garden, has filled completely with the light and started shining. Even the light coming from the moon also made her playthings bright. And the girl is telling she loves to look up at the, it's like she loves to look up in the sky to see the pretty face of the moon. So that's about the poem, look at the moon. Okay children, got it? Let us underline the new words children. Yes. Shining. Lamp, mother, shaped, smaller, bow, grown, bigger, round, pretty, bright, playthings, nursery, door and floor. So these are the new words. You are going to underline it from the poem and you are going to learn the new words. Okay children? So with this we have end the poem and you have a backside exercise also. So given below are some words from the poem. One rhyming word is given for each word. Write one more rhyming word from the poem. So you know very well what are rhyming words children? The words that if you speak, when you are pronouncing this sound or
almost the same. Like from the poem, if you if you just see, uh, they a they a. So when you are spelling out or when you are pronouncing any word, these two words they sound the same. Smaller, bigger, bo, o, and door, floor, place, face. So these are the word. These are the rhyming words. So few words are given here. You need to write another rhyming word that sounds as the same. Okay, children. So with this, we have completed the poem. Look at the moon. Hope you understood the poem and enjoyed. Okay. So bye for today. We'll be meet you in the next class with a new lesson. Okay, children. Bye bye. Till the time. Stay safe and be happy.